Hello learners, welcome to this exciting journey where we are going to explore an interesting tool which can change the way you work, Anaten, which is an automation tool. In this video, we will understand what automation tools really do. So let's get started. So often we have to perform a series of tasks in our day-to-day -day life as a professional. So workflow automation is a process of automating stream and streamlining series of repetitive tasks. To do this, you have to set up a trigger point on the basis of which some action will be performed. So there are two parts to it, when and then. So now why is there a need for automation? Automation is necessary in order to achieve three objectives. Firstly, reducing the workload. So automation can replace a lot of manual works we do. Second objective is staying connected and performing actions in real time. Suppose you want to answer your mails in real time. This is hard to achieve without automation. So thirdly, automation is also necessary to make us smarter. The automation can take care of whole workflow and you just need to bother about the outcomes. Now we understand the benefits of these automation tools, let's consider different types of automation tools. Primarily, there are three types of automation tools. First, no-code tools, then low-code tools, and thirdly, enterprise scale tools. Tools like Zapier are no-code tools. So for using these tools, you don't need to have any expertise in programming languages. Low-code tools are very similar to no-code tools, but they provide you basic programming functionalities with the help of which you can automate complex workflows. Enterprise scale tools deploy dedicated workflows for big organizations. Enterprise level automation tools can handle heavier loads or volumes. Now that you understand automation tools, let's explore one in depth, which is Aniten. So let's get started. Just a quick note. Analytics Vidya has 100 plus free courses from beginner to advanced on topics like machine learning, generative AI, agents, etc. Complete with certification. Click the I button to explore now. So let me ask you something. What if there was a way to summarize your emails with AI before you even open them? Or generate reports automatically from a scattered data across platform? or maybe even send alerts, update spreadsheets, and ping Slack, all without writing complicated code. Sounds unbelievable, right? Well, that's exactly what this course is all about. With Anatan, you don't need to be a coding expert. You just connect the dots, literally, and let the tool handle the rest. It's smart, flexible, and super powerful. In this video, we'll dive deeper into what Anaten really is and how it works and what makes it so popular for automating all kinds of tasks. So let's jump started. Anaten is an open source automation tool just like Zapier or Make.com, but with way more flexibility. You can connect your favorite apps like Gmail, Notion, Slack, and even APIs to build powerful automations without writing a ton of code. And what is the best part? It's free and customizable. All right, so what makes Anaten stand out from other tools? The first unique feature of Anaten is it is open source. You can host Anaten on your own server and fully control how it works. Now, here is the best part. It has low code or even no code interface. You don't need to write code just drag and drop steps to build workflows. It's easy as building a flowchart or actually does tasks for you. But wait, coders aren't left out either. Anaten also supports custom code. In case you know coding, you can add your own JavaScript for more control. This lets you customize logic exactly how you want it. And integration? Oh, there's plenty. Anaten connects with 350 plus popular apps like Gmail, Slack, Google Sheet, you name it. So your tool talks to other 
apps without you lifting a finger. Lastly, Anaten also enables agentic capabilities. You can build smart assistants that do tasks on their own using AI. For example, one that summarizes emails and sends updates while you sleep. So let's look at how Anaten workflows are built. Don't worry, it's simpler than it looks like. Picture a domino effect. You push the first one and the rest falls into place. That's what a workflow is. You start with a trigger node. This is like saying, when this happens, start the process. For example, a webhook or new email. Then comes the function node, as you can see in the picture. If you want to apply logic or calculate using JavaScript. A set node allows you to modify or add new data fields. You might use an HTTP request node to talk to APIs. And finally, a Slack node or any app node sends messages or completes action. So every node plays a specific role together. They form a chain of actions that gets your work done automatically. So let's say you want to get a Slack notification whenever someone fills a Google form. So here is how your workflow will look like. So trigger node, a webhook which connects to Google Form. Then there will be set node, as you can see. It formats the name or adds the timestamp. Then there will be function node, which is optional if you want to check whether they submitted a valid email ID or not. Then there will be Slack node, which is send a nice message like new response is received. It's like building with Lego blocks, only here the outcome is smart workflow that saves you time. So here is what Anatan really shines, action nodes. Think of these as your hands. Once the trigger wakes up your workflow, action nodes get to work. So you want to send an email or store something in the database or make an API call or post on social media. So action nodes do all of this. It's like a mini team working 24x7 for you. So let's look at a real world use case. So imagine you are a busy manager getting hundreds of emails. You want just the summary, not the noise. So here is how Anatan can help. A trigger node starts when the email arrives in your inbox. Then a function node or OpenAI integration pulls out key information and summarizes the content. Then the Slack note sends you a short summary, like subject meeting request tomorrow at 3 p.m. So now, instead of reading 50 emails, you just read five short Slack messages and your productivity is upgraded. So we can automate various use cases using Anaten. Some of potential use cases are, firstly, automating market research report. So doing market research manually, that is the old way. With Anaten, let the bots do the boring part. For example, Anaten can pull pricing data from competitors using HTTP request nodes. Then it can scrape industry blocks and reviews, use AI to extract highlights, and do the SWOT analysis. And then it can combine all these into Google Form Sheet and PDF reports. So you just run the workflow, and voila, your weekly market report is ready. So another fantastic use case is creating personalized newsletters. So suppose you run a community newsletter or content platform. You know the pain, right? One size fits all content doesn't work. So you need personalization. But with Anaten, you can. So at first, you can pull user preferences from database or form, and then match articles or blogs using keywords. Then automatically build and send newsletter tailored to a person's needs. It's like Spotify for content. Your users get exactly what they love and they keep coming back. The third use case will be summarizing trend for social media managers. So let's say you manage multiple social media accounts. Every day there is a flood of tweets, blogs, news. How do you keep up? With Anaten, you can pull in data from Twitter, Reddit, Google News, and then use AI node like OpenAI to summarize trending 
topics and then automatically send a report to your inbox or Slack. This turns hours of scrolling into beautiful automated dashboard. You stay ahead of trends without burning out. Now we will see how to access Anaten and also compare it with other popular tools like Zapier. So to access this automation tool, you have to access Anaten website. So just go to official website, anaten.io. Once you are there, you'll see this interface. And then just click on login to get started. And once you are in, you land on Anaten Cloud Dashboard. All right, we are in. Let's see how to start building our first workflow. So click on new workflow. This is your blank canvas where you'll build your automation. So every workflow is a combination of tasks and these tasks are built using something called nodes. So let's understand what these nodes are. So think of nodes as action blocks. So each one performs a specific task like sending an email, making API call, or summarize something or processing data, right? So they are the building blocks of your automation and setting them up is super intuitive. So let's now see how you can find and configure these nodes. So to add a node, either browse through the list or just use the search bar. So once you have picked one, you'll be asked to fill in some basic settings like credentials or API keys. So that's it, it's ready to use. And what if you want to chain multiple steps? So well, that's where the plus icon comes in handy. You can see that. So click the plus icon next to any node to add another step and they'll connect automatically. After adding each node, use the test step feature to make sure everything working before moving on. So now that we have seen and and work, let's take a step back and look at some other automation tools out there. So starting with Make and Zapier. Both Make and Zapier are well-known names in automation space. So Make is very visual, drag and drop automation platform. So it's user-friendly and powerful, especially for teams with mixed technical skills. So you don't need to write code, but you can build some pretty complex workflows. So, but if you want speed and app coverage without much setup, Zapier might be more your style. So Zapier is built for quick no-code automation. It connects over 6,000 apps and is perfect for users who just want things for work fast. The only trade-off is it's not very flexible when it comes to custom logic. So let's compare these platforms side by side. Let's break it down. So here is quick comparison to help you decide what's best for you. First aspect is pricing aspect. So Anaten offers a free self-hosting option. Make and Zapier both have freemium models based on usage. Now next is self-hosting. Only Anaten supports it and it is great for you if you want self-hosting. So when it comes to integration, Zapier leads with over 6,000 app connections. Make comes with 2,000 plus, with Anaten supports 1,000 plus and growing. Plus, you can build custom integration whenever needed. So workflow flexibility is another area to consider. Make is known for its visual builder and Zapier supports up, up to 100 steps per automation. But Anaten stands out with its highly flexible workflows. Support for multiple triggers and advanced logic handling is also available in Anaten. And finally, customization. If you like the to fine tune and script your automations, Anaten gives you full control and it's built in code editor. On the other hand, Make offers limited scripting and Zapier is quite restricted in this area. So let me help you choose the right tool based on your needs. You can choose Anaten if you have technical skills and want full control, privacy, and AI-powered workflows. Go with Make if you prefer visual building and collaborate with no-coders. 
and pick Zapier if you want something super simple that works out of the box. Now, you know how to access and use NET10. Next, we'll go hands-on and start building real-world workflows. So stick around and let's keep automating. So now that you know what is NET10 and the powerful automation features it offers, let's jump right into the hands-on part for this tutorial. In this hands-on, we are gonna build an AI power chat agent from scratch using NETN. First, head over to NETN website. Sign in, enter your credentials, and log in into your account. Once you're in, click on create workflow. Here you're gonna see a blank canvas with plus icon in middle of it. Click on it to add your first node. In this example, we are gonna use chat trigger node that will be used to receive messages. Next, we will add the core of our workflow that is AI agent. In this example, we are going to use open AI model, simple memory, simple memory to retain the context of the chart, and SERP API tool to let the agent look up real time information. Once all nodes are connected, then we will configure the OpenAI model node. Click on it, add your credentials, I have already added mine, and choose the model you wanna use. Then hop onto SERP API node. Again, add your credentials, and then you're good to go. Click on the chat icon, then ask any question, like who won the men's cricket World Cup in 2025? Yeah, we got the correct answer. India won the World Cup. And that's it. You just have built a fully functional AI chat agent in NETN with memory, real-time search, and open AI integration. So now we are going to level it up and build something cool. Content creator agent. This agent will take a topic and automatically generate social media content for X, LinkedIn, and a blog post. All with the power of AI. Let's jump into it. First, create a Google Sheet with label as Campaign, Content Topic, Target Audience, LinkedIn, X, and Blog. And then hop on to NETN. Here, we are going to use Google Sheet as a trigger node where we will add our credentials and connect to the Google Sheet we just created. Then, this node will be connected to a set search field node which will be used to fetch the content uh, from the Google Sheet we integrated. Followed by a search internet node which will use the Tavli search to fetch the information about the content topic. Here, we are going to use method as post, Tavli search URL, Tavli API key, and a search query in JSON format. Next, we will connect this node to split out node, which will, uh, which will extract the content and divide it into smaller meaningful segments, followed by aggregator node, which combines the structure insights into a unified format. Once we have the data, it will be passed on to three different agents along with the target audience. The three different agents are LinkedIn, X, and blog writers. All are powered by OpenAI model. Each agent is given with a system prompt along with one shot example to ensure that we get better results. Now, finally, we will connect it to a Google Sheet node where the content created by the AI agents will be updated into the same sheet we created at first. Now, let's see the workflow in action. Click on execute workflow. Now the Google Sheet is connected, content is fetched and se sent to search internet node, the data is pre-processed and sent to LinkedIn AI agent. Then next it will be sent to Twitter AI agent and the content will be created. And then the, da the data is sent to blog writers where the content for blog will be created. Now the content is ready and updated in our Google Sheet. Let's see. Yes, the content for LinkedIn, X, and blog is updated. And it's that easy to create content with NETN. And just like that, you have built a powerful content creator agent, much faster and more visual using NETN.